Well, I think, like me, most women are confused. Janet Coe says she was blindsided by menopause, insomnia, night sweats, brain fog. Then she ended up in an emergency room. I thought I was going to have a heart attack. Coe saw doctors but says she didn't get much advice. Researchers say that's not unusual. We've identified a real gap in care for menopausal symptoms. A newly published Canadian review examining the management of menopause notes, it is critical that doctors discuss symptoms and treatment options with their patients, including hormone therapy. Given the history of hormone therapy and the studies and, and the whole evolution, there's a lot of clinicians just don't feel comfortable with hormone therapy, don't feel comfortable prescribing it. Breathe. A 2002 study found hormone therapy carried higher risks, but more recent studies have shown it can offer real benefits for younger women. The latest guidelines state for healthy menopausal women under 60 experiencing hot flashes and night sweats, the benefits of menopausal hormone therapy typically outweigh the risks. If taken for less than five years, the risk of breast cancer is less than one in 1,000 women. When you are doing your Google searches and you're trying to be able to help yourself uh, figure out how to manage your symptoms or trying to understand what your body is going through, that you want to be able to use credible resources. The Canadian Menopause Society recommends this site, mq6.ca, which offers patients and doctors questions to start the conversation around symptoms and treatment. Experts warn hormone therapy shouldn't be taboo, but it's no cure-all either. If someone's telling you only positive things or someone's telling you only negative things, that, that you should probably get another opinion. Women deserve to understand that they don't have to suffer through symptoms that can last for a decade or more. Co says hormone therapy may not be for everyone, but for her, it worked. Christine Birak, CBC News, Port Credit, Ontario.